it's Nico. I'm gonna do a video today for the 2020 X5 with third row seat and also to compare I have an X7 with third row seat so you can see what they look like side by side because a lot of people wondering whether that third row actually works what the difference is and so on so first of all the model the new X5 was redesigned in 2019 technically third row seat was available but our dealership we never got it and i think very few dealerships got them so they're extremely unique just basically you can forget that 2019 x5 with third row seat functionally did not exist but in 2020 it became available we have a few and i have one right here so uh let's take a look at this one first so and then we'll go to the x7 to compare so things they did change uh, uh opened opens manually also, with all these cars, if you get the row seat, you get uh, different suspension, you get air suspension because of extra weight. So there's another button that, I, that can actually lower the car a little bit for loading. And um, so that button is here. Also, they added two things. If you come a little bit over here, there are two buttons right here. These are the buttons that you can use to fold the second row. Uh, the third row can be folded or has to be folded manually. There's no option to fold it with a button. So there's that. Let's take a look at the second row. As before, then second row can move. You can adjust it, you can move it. Uh, no longer you can move it with just manual thing. You have to use these things. You have to use the power seat adjustment. So just to show you, this is what it is when you move it all the way back and you can adjust the uh, recliner on the seat. So right now this is reclined all the way. And this is pretty much the same as the X5 without the third row. And then if you, you definitely need more room for the third row if you are uh, planning to have somebody there. So you're gonna move, you're gonna have to move this seat forward. And I'm gonna move it right now all the way. So you can see, this is it. So now it's moved all the way. Uh, for reference, I'm about 5'10", so I'm pretty comfortable like this. I would probably even adjust the recliner because it's a little bit too laid back. So this is how I would see. So this is the second row. Now, to get into the third row, so it's a little tricky. They have two adjustments here. There's one button up here and two buttons here. They are confusing. This button will fold the seat. It's not going to move it so I can get in. This is the button I want to use. So I push it. It actually moves the first row. Otherwise, there's not enough room. And as you can see, it does everything for me. I don't need to hold anything. And when it stops, I can get in. And I'm gonna perform feats of flexibility to show you how I fit in the back. So I'm in the back. This is how I fit. And I'm gonna close it on myself. So um, as you can see, I'm actually, oh, well, I'm still comfortable. Right now it pushed me a little bit back, so my knees are touching this seat, but I don't have to fold sideways. I can actually sit pretty straightforward like this. But again, remember, this is the seat moved all the way there. If I wanted to move it closer to myself, uh, I cannot do it from here. Can you push that button down, down there? Like, can you move it further back? Okay. All right, that's it, that's it. All right, so right now, um, this is really tight. But I can still sit here and, um, you know, a child could sit on this side. So it's actually not bad. It is still tight, but it's not as tight as the previous X5. So it's definitely better. And uh, as you can see, it's easier for me to access this button from the back. So I don't need to wait for somebody else to help me to get out. Um, while this is moving, I can show you that there are AC outlets right here. Ventilator with uh, control. Obviously, I have the seat belts. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have here. There's nothing else. Uh, there are two couples, two small cup holders down here. Kind of like not even cup holders, but places for something. And last thing I want to show you before we move to the X7 is when I want to fold this seat, I can actually, I think I can do it from here. So first I need to fold the headrest, fold the headrest, and then just release this thing. Folds down. This is it. So pretty easy. I don't know if I can fold this one right now. Yeah, so I need a little bit of room over here.
move that. There we go. So this is the X5. And now for comparison, I will perform similar thing for the X7, just so you can see how I fit. All right. So the button is in the same place. Push and release it, or you can hold it if you want to. Okay. Step in. Okay. So I am a little bit more comfortable even now without the seat going backwards. In terms of controls and comfort, uh, surprisingly, surprisingly, there are no controls for the uh, AC, like in the X5. There's a nice cup holder here. I'm sorry, I take it back. Controls are here. And not just for AC, I have a sunroof, I have heated seats, so there's a lot of cool stuff here. So, my bad. And uh, finally, I want to show you what it looks like when I close it on myself. And it should be a lot of room. Okay. All right. So this is it. Right now, there's plenty of room in this seat. My my uh, knees are barely touching the second row. Pretty comfortable in the back. And uh, the only thing, there's not a lot of shoulder room if there are two persons. But that's what you get with this one. Also, just to remind you, X5, X7 has an option for captain seats for the second row so you can have a six seat configuration then there's going to be a pass through here that will make it a little bit easier to climb in here for kids uh, right now there's no option like that for the x5 and let's get out of here so yeah obviously it's a larger car so it's easier to get in and out but uh, surpri surprisingly this is my first time trying it x the new x5 is really comfortable in the third row compared to the previous models and um, so it actually works pretty well and last thing while we're filming just to compare I'm gonna fold everything down here fold all the seats down and we're gonna do the same here so we can compare what happens if you fold everything how much room you have so we're doing this thing first and then I should be able to fold them from these buttons. Yep. So that's working. That's done. And now let's fold these. Can I fold these? Sure can. So this is done. This is still working. Right now the seats are moving. Let's open the tailgate on both so you can see the difference. That's it. Take a look. Again, this is X5. This is X7. Obviously, larger car, more room. A little bit more compact room, car, less room. So each one has its own benefits. That's it. Thanks for watching.